We're going to hear first from uh, Carlos Bosch from uh, GSMA. Well, guys, good evening. My name is Carlos Bosch. I'm responsible for technology within the GSMA. What I do, I help operators doing deploy what we agree every four years. Every four years, the GSMA meet with, uh, with our lead operators, with our board members, which is who actually run the GSMA. And we do a plan on what to deploy, how to deploy it, and my job is to help them through that transition. I also work with them on how to do interoperability of this, of this product, which is something very important. Now, I'm going to discuss today something that we published two weeks ago. If you went to the Mobility Life, we published this document. It is, uh, it is the GSMA economy. If you go to the link here, you will be able not only to get the report from North America, North America only covers uh, USA, and, USA and Canada, not Mexico. Mexico will be in the Latin one. And also you will be able to get the report from nine other regions. This is one of the few reports in the industry that, that is free. Please read it, has very good information and is, uh, is excellent. Now what, what I'm going to talk today is about that the mobile economy is healthy. Uh, there's a lot of comments about what is happening, OTTs, and, and, and so on. In my opinion, the mobile economy is healthy, and we see here that we have uh, in, the, in the U.S. 300, and we will have 315 mobile connections. Today it's about 284. That's about 79% penetration. When you compare that with what's happening in the, in the world, you, you will say, well, they are catching up. Yes, they are, they, are, they are catching up, but they are coming from a very, very low, low level. I think we're going to get to, to an 85% penetration uh, by 2020, and that will kind of lead you where I'm heading with this, with this presentation. Now, what is happening? If we look that we, we only have 79% penetration from an individual standpoint, but we have 371 million devices, that means there's a bunch of you like me that might have a phone and some other device, tablets, second phones. In my case, I have a tablet and three phones, but you know, that is uh, uh, part of my job. We, we think it's going to grow to 414 million, which is very healthy. Uh, it's a 2.2% uh, growth every year, but keep in mind, we are in an 80% growth market. Um, now, if we look at this, that signifies a 7.3 billion in the, in, the, in the economy. That is going to continue growing exponentially. Now, I'm going to show you in the next, in, in the next slide something that, that some people might see, you know, what is happening is not good, it's good, it's still healthy. That will lead to the conversation for 5G that, that I know some, some of my colleagues here will, will be talking. Most of the growth that we are seeing is video. Uh, we were having a conversation, uh, Serge and I, about this earlier. Some is Wi-Fi, some is cellular. The video is, grow is growing every year 50%. I cannot say this is all mobile because it, it can be in a lot, of, a lot, of, in a lot of, of, of elements. The problem that we're having, that even though we're talking 5G, we're talking big growth, only 0.2% of that growth will yield to, to revenue for the, for the operators, okay? That is something that we need to see very carefully, something that you guys to take into, into consideration, and there are a lot of good technologies today that we can still be, be using. 4G is not there 100%. I mean, we're still uh, deploying. Operators are still doing, 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 doing coverage. And the operators will still be using that technology going, going forward. When we go into 3G, into 4G, keep in mind that when we are deploying IoT, there will be a lot of IoT being deployed in 3G today. There will be some being deployed in, 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 in 4G. I know we're talking in 5G for actually medicine and being able to do things real, real, real time like uh, 
mom, uh, driving a car, I still don't think that I'm going to trust my car to drive by itself from my cell phone. It, it will be something in, in between, you know? It's something that, you know, we were, we were talking about two weeks ago and people were saying, what, what is happening with, uh, with technology and the car? A lot of time my Android phone crash, therefore I don't want my car to crash, you know? It will be a big problem, okay? Now, what is happening in, in, in the US? I am a, an, an optimist. If you look at our industry, even though it's changing in the US, over 90% of all OS comes from, from the US. We drive the mobile economy worldwide. All the investments in the US are over 17 billion. That's very healthy from, uh, from last year. It's still growing by 40%. Um, I challenge you to see what other companies or what other countries are producing uh, what we're producing in, 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 in the US. I think we are going to see some movement with Tyson because now that, that Google is, is going to start to compete with them directly, they have to react. Uh, Google is uh, getting not only into, into connectivity, even though they, they stop a little bit uh, their, their deployment of fiber, but now that they're getting into, in, into building phones, is going to make a change on how Samsung is going, is, is going to do. Maybe one of uh, our friends here can, can comment about that, but I, est I estimate that that's going to force them to get into Tyson, to maybe make a play into RCS, make, you know, saying what can we host, what can we do to, uh, to make the operators lo look at us different, because today they're looking at them for some network, but a lot is phone. And lastly, all the cellular um, machine to, to machine is exploding. It's going to grow. I think it's going to grow uh, to a level that we might not know today. Uh, machine to machine, in my, in, in my opinion, uh, you have a lot of predictions that we have here. It's going to total 60 billion in, you know, uh, in, in 2015, but it's going to grow to 125 by 2020. In my opinion, that number might, might be low. Uh, when you start talking about all the devices that are, that are entering, what is, what is happening. Uh, it's going to be very, very interesting. I think two things need to happen for this to, to grow. One is, one, that the operators are going to launch uh, uh, systems that are more intuitive. Uh, security needs to be improved. Uh, we talk a lot about IoT, we talk about a lot about devices, but we cannot make our home smart if we cannot really authenticate our home smartly. Uh, if we look at the outage that happened a month ago, uh, most of it was system system. You know, the, 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 the passwords are going to be very simple. That is a market and a business that I think the operators are going to get into to uh, alleviate the point to a, uh, uh, growth that they, that, they are, that they are going to see only in, in, in data business. I think the operators are going to also grow into how to manage IoT and all the services like we have seen that AT&T is doing today in, uh, in, with, with the managed car that, that Verizon is doing with telematics. All that stuff is going to, is going to be doing. Now, everybody is asking me to talk about 5G. As a technologist, I have no idea what it is. I really, I'm, I'm honest to you. Uh, maybe somebody else can, can, can talk about it. I can only quote uh, Mr. Glenary from, uh, from, from AT&T. Uh, he spoke two weeks ago about, about, about this, and the specification is coming out in 2018, possibly 19th. I think what you're seeing today in the market are, are trials. Uh, those trials might lead to some, uh, to, to some changes in, the, in, in spectrum management, in how to improve how to do spectrum. Uh, if you look at Verizon, they are, they are doing the, their, their own ecosystem. But there is plenty that we will see growth within LTE and 4G for what we need to do now. 5G will come, but I think will be beyond 2020. Thank you. Thank you.